I'm trying to get this uh, ghost cart thing out of here. So this isn't a ghost cart though. This is a cricket cart. Cricket cart? Noisy cricket cart. Look how clean that wiring came out. Pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. There's no ghost on here. That's that branding. Call it a ghost cart even when it's not a ghost cart. I'm working on getting this <coughs> wiring dialed in. Uh, I got everything routed pretty sweet. Controllers in, batteries in, brakes on, pedals are in. Tell the people what you got going on here. So give the, give the, the electric boys a shout out like they want. So this here is an electric and co kit. This is a QS138 motor. Uh, it's using their noisy cricket. This here is their 76 volt, 24 amp hour battery, I think. Yeah, 76 volt, 24 amp hour. Uh, it's got a max voltage of 88 volts. We're able to pull 180 amps from this, which gives us, what'd we say, like 18 horsepower? What was the ghost cart rocking? Like well, the, red, ghost, the ghost uh... Redbeard dynoed it and he got 11 horsepower hmm. out of it. So 11 versus 18. And this is just instant torque. This thing rips way crazier than the ghost engine does. Just instant torque, instant wheelies, instant uh, scariness. Instant mayhem. Yeah. Just a flip of a pedal. So this build here is for none other than the Saronster. So if you guys follow him, he's all about the electric. It's all <laughs> about brushless, lithium, cutting edge, latest and greatest in brushless technology. This setup definitely is a real ripper. Which one, I don't even want to give this thing to him. Like I'm so butt hurt that like <coughs> we even agreed to uh, just give have, it away. have to get rid of this yeah. because like this is probably the sweetest one that I've built. Sweetest thing you've ever built. Well, just like all the custom stuff down to the battery box, like this custom holder. Like I actually use that Quest Meta 3, what, Meta Quest 3? Yeah. Uh, with the augmented reality to actually design like this top piece and a lot of these parts so that I could literally be able to have the headset on, see 3D parts in real time. That's uh, pretty cool. Got all the button heads just so it looks sweet. This motor bracket came out pretty cool. Got the Allen heads there. It definitely looks like a serious unit. Oh, it's looking sweet getting closer to put together. And then like I got the I got that charger over here. I threw a wheel <laughs> on real quick just to see get a kind of overview of how it's going to look. It's going to look pretty sweet all black and red. This thing is just so sweet. <laughs> like I really don't want to have to get rid of it. Build another one. It's taken me 3 months to build this one. <laughs> 